Hey y'all, we're Wind Waker, and you're watching Local Band Smokeout. Woo! There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, ever since then! Give me a hell yeah! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Fellas, how are we doing? Please do me a favor, uh, properly introduce yourself, let me know whereabouts in the world you are, plug and promote anything and everything. Um, I'm James Lamb. Jesse oh, wait, wait, wait. Can you can you mute the the stream audio? Yep, yep. It'll do like a delay. Otherwise, yeah. Perfect. James, do, do that one more time, yeah, if you could. James Lamb. Uh, we're in Syracuse, New York. Jesse Chantel. And uh, plug and promote. Uh, uh, let's see. For plug, I guess uh, my buddy uh, Richie Abelia. Oh, He's yeah. looking for clients right now. Um, Which hell of a dude. Yeah, Watch others good. ghost. Uh, yeah, something meaningful. Shit. Yeah, he's doing instrumentals and stuff. And then uh, Aaron Cooper, he's our current producer. Aaron's a good guy. Yeah, he's yeah. great. He's, he's very, uh, very talented. Our instrumentalist. And then Becco. Becco, and then Christian O'Neill. Yeah, he's got some good Christian. services. Go. Yeah. yeah you named, you named a, a bunch a bunch of friends of ours. How did you first meet yeah. Richie? And then separately, how did you first meet Christian? Ah, uh, okay, so. Richie, I met through Jordan Blake. I uh, was working with Jordan, and then he hooked me up with Richie. And then Richie was one of the like nicest people I ever met. Did a feature for me. Super. Cool. I guess I, Super I was his, popped his feature cherry there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Super. Cool. Um, and then since then, me and him have been like pretty tight. I can't wait for his wedding. It's gonna be sweet. Flying out to uh, Cali for that. And then uh, Christian. We met because we needed uh, help writing a song. It was it was our uh, uh, you finished out the Go ghost right? Yeah, for uh, Doomsday. Oh man, so yeah, yeah. So we so we had him, you know, ghost write a song for us. I uh, sent us uh, a vocal set that we tried to fit to our style as best we could. Um, pretty intimidating, you know, when we first started doing vocals. Christian's a very talented vocalist, so especially with the screaming. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah. He's, he's been very helpful, not only with like the aspect of making the music, but with honing how to figure out how to do the vocals and harmonies and, and harmonies and ad libs and just kind of piece it all together. So and then Aaron, we met through uh, Chango, the uh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. Facebook group. We needed new instrumentals and uh, man, his production since we first started. Oh, man, he's progressed badass. so much. Yeah, he's very, a very great good. guy. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, yeah those two I can't guys. wait to work with him more though. He's... Yeah. Hell yeah, we Pretty we tough. jammed we jammed uh, uh reinventing your exit earlier today. Was there uh which was a great cover. You guys did a fantastic job on that one. Uh is there is there any like terrible songs that you almost did instead of Under Oath? Like there was like a, oh we should do this one and then after thinking about it you were like, "Man, what were we thinking? We should definitely not um, not do okay, that." Okay, that's uh yeah. Yeah, that's good because you had different takes than I did. So I wanted to do a metal version of uh, "Shake It" by Metro Station. Okay, because like I don't <laughs> that people have done fun. that. It would have been yeah. fun, you know. They're very high energy, so that would have been cool. I wanted to do a cover that's something off of like 2012 Punkos Pop, where like like "Woe Is Me's Last Friday Night," something crazy like that. Uh, I think that we'll do that for the next one. Maybe we'll do "Shake It" then. But, yeah, I mean that would be a good one. I think I think the "Shake It" would be a cool one. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Yeah, sweet. it would be good. Yeah, I, I think that'd be cool. How did you guys meet? Oh, uh, oh man, we grew, so we've known each other since high school. Uh, James moved from uh, California. Yep. Um, and we've been, I mean, pretty much best friends. Had a little falling out here and there, but you but, know, yeah, high school. We're only human. High school, shit like that. So we've known each other for the better part of our since, adult lives. Since I was twelve. Yeah. yeah so eighteen years. Yeah. Who uh who have you not had a chance to work with that you maybe have already hit up and you're just waiting a response or 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 dream okay. features? Mine, one that is actually recent would be uh, Attack Attacks, uh, uh, new vocalist Chris. I okay. met him at a show in Albany. 
super cool guy. He's like, oh, hit me up for a feature. And I was like, cool. I was like, I already did. And he's like, oh, well, hit me up again. And I was like, okay, send him the feature and was left on red. So I'm just waiting for that one. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> it is that way and months will go by and they'll be like, oh, dude, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. And then hopefully it happens. Yeah, yeah. Who, uh, who else, who else? Oh, let's see. One that we really oh, wanted man. to do was, uh, how do you pronounce his last name? Uh, Jerry Roush, Roush? Roush from Sky, Sky Eats Airplane. I think it's Roush, yeah. We hit him up, but, but I guess he's got something going on with his label, so he had to, like, decline it. Yeah. But he totally, he totally would have done it, he said. So yeah. that's, that one, yeah, yeah it was a bummer. Slip by, yeah. <clears throat> how did you guys come up with the band name, and what does it actually mean? <laughs> okay, so this is 2012. Oh when I was 18, I started that. It uh, it was originally a Christian metalcore band uh, that I was doing with some friends in Oneida, my buddy uh, Nate and Gunner. And uh, we never really did anything with it. And the name came when I was a youth youth leader. Youth and leader. Uh, yeah. so ever since Eve, it's like ever since Eve ate the apple and like screwed all of us type of thing, we thought it would be cool irreverent but, in a sense and then yeah, later it became yeah. a not christian band so mm, yeah kind of fell off i like i like knowing the backstory though the, it adds it adds more knowing the backstory i, I didn't know is eve referring to adam and eve okay now i get it so did you guys bring hot sauce yes we have a little oh, i gotta grab it hold on <clears throat> we brought frank's it's my favorite oh. okay so we're going light so i'll go i'll go, go, so go, 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 go kind of light <sighs> I'll go. I'll go. Blueberry Hell Hellfire Hot Sauce. I don't know if you can see it right there, but it's kind of. Oh yeah, beautiful. Yeah, Frank's is a. It's an every man's hot sauce, even if you're not a hot sauce kind of guy. Whether you get the trivia right or wrong, I will do the hot sauce. But if them. you get it wrong, take a little like quick swig. You don't have to do like a shot of it or anything like that. But uh, unless you're feeling crazy. But the cool part oh, is, you guys get to pick the trivia. Is that enough? You don't, need to, you don't need to know that. It's, it's enough for a chunk. We'll make it enough. We'll make it enough. The cool part about the trivia is you guys get to pick the trivia topic. What movie mm. or TV show, if you could agree on either one, a movie or separately a TV show, have you seen the most? Or if I look up trivia on this, you will not get stumped. I already got it. TV show. How I Met Your Mother. Okay. I need a second on on to look up some trivia on that. Tell me about your guys' plans for for twenty twenty four. Like, what what are you allowed to tell us that we can look forward to? Future singles, maybe uh, uh, some stuff you have in the works. Just what are you allowed to tell us? Um, we are working on our next album. It's Chapter Two: Death Friends. It's going to focus heavily on uh, mental health, uh, the loss of like our friends that have passed away, uh, suicide in general. Yeah, um, like coping with it. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna try to make it like a concept album. Uh it was a very, yeah, very yeah. we're gonna put a lot into the story on my storyline behind it. Can, bit can you elaborate on, on concept album? Like I, I get that it's it's gonna be like very touching and it's it it means something as far as awareness, but can you elaborate any more on, on the concept part? Uh, yeah, it's gonna you know, it'll be like a small story. Mostly be, about like, like mental story. health and what we deal with every day and how we were a couple years ago to versus now. Uh, just what we're struggling, mainly what we're struggling with. Yeah, I mean, so between losing friends and then our situation is very unique too because you and me being like estranged and then getting so close, you know, like with our, our families and everything yeah, else. One of the know, songs we get, yeah. And being just, you know, struggling with the everyday crisis of economy in the shader and yeah. not making enough money or you have money but it's got to go to bills and then you know what i mean it just struggles man i can date it and people need to be more aware of what people go through so kudos to you guys for, for hey. bringing awareness to that uh yeah. let's 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 lighten the mood though and okay. let's oh, let's yeah. have some fun with some trivia oh, you got to pick <sighs> and you chose how i met your mother in season four, these are hard, man. So here we go. In season four, <laughs> do you recall the inappropriate joke Barney begins to tell? Ted cuts him off that sends Lily off the grid for almost a month. 
Yes. It's uh, it's the peanut butter joke about the peanut butter and the jam. That is correct. Oh, yeah. Yes. Actually, uh, it was I just watching right here, man. Oh, shit. Damn it. <laughs> well done. Hello, DVD player, and I was uh, we were literally just watching first it. season. Cheers. Oh boy. Chug. Let's go. Oh boy. All right, I'm gonna come up with another one, but I need a little more time to to find one more. Oh, yeah. But uh. What up? Do you guys have any? I like to ask people what they're what they're scared of. Do you have any phobias? Anything that freaks you out? Spiders, straight spiders. Yeah, I will burn the house down, bro. Straight arachnophobe. Oh my god, you little know, ones, big ones, except for long legs. Those don't mess with me. They're they're <laughs> remaking arachnophobia. I heard. Are you? Oh gonna, shoot! Are you gonna go see that? No, I would sure. watch Eight Legged <clears throat> Freaks if they redid that one. That one was my favorite. Yeah, like That's what there. gave me my. That was uh, a good one. My uh, yeah, fear. Phobia. Yeah. I do remember yeah. eight-legged freaks for sure. For sure. Oh man, mine would have to be. Uh, I forget exactly what it is. It's the ocean. Um, depths, I guess, if you will. like open water, for instance. Like, um, I don't know. Yeah, it would be the ocean. You don't know what's in there. What is it? I forget exactly. There's a name for it. So no like deep sea uh, fishing or anything for you? I mean, yeah, I'd go deep sea fishing. Um, you won't be catching me kuba diving in that ocean though, for sure. No way. I don't like the water. No. Open open uh, spaces you don't know. That's uh, that's my phobia. I got you. Space. Uh, I got you. Never been on a plane. I don't know that kind of stuff. I'm I am very confident I'm there. of uh, this no. next trivia question. So I'm going even hotter. I'm going the Scorpion oh. Reaper, Ancho Mensala. It's it's extremely uh, see, I hot. I wish I brought my, I wish I brought my hot my. Uh, I have like a gourmet hot sauce. There's like six different ones with a Stolville level increasing with each one. See, I was slacking, man. Yeah, this one Maybe this one's got to be the hundreds of thousands somewhere over there. But I'm gonna try no, and stump you one more time, and here we go. In season four again, there's an episode called Three Days of Snow. It's a long question, so bear with me. Marshall picks yeah. up Lily from the airport, and it has become a tradition for them every time she returns from a trip. Marshall picks her up. She always brings him a six-pack. What is the name of the beer she brings him in this episode? The episode is called Three Days of Snow. It's episode 13 in season four. I mean, she brings him... I can't it's the keg, right? What is the name of it? It is a keg. It's a keg. I don't. It's like it's not that Aspen Yards and Dale. Well, that was the she. Oh, there's so many because they recap all the beers that she's brought on through. Yeah, and his favorite. I can't I know remember. it's a keg because Ranjit had to carry it. She offered him fifty bucks. Yeah. So you uh, know, yes, you have all the details. I uh, I don't know the name of it. That's all right. We got him. You got me. <laughs> Hell, <laughs> I had to go deep to I get you, though. Seattle Microbrew. Seattle, because oh, she, micro she had just vid right. visited Seattle, Washington, and says, I'm glad we were able to get a stump, so enjoy the Franks. And uh, again, please plug or promote anything after you, Chug, that we may not have touched base on today, something you want us to know. Um, obviously, I know that the Under Oath single is the latest single, and that song's awesome. Please check that out, guys, if you haven't. Uh, just go on Spotify and search ever since Eve. But is there anything that we missed today that we need to discuss? Hmm. Uh, go cheers. On the first, we're going to be dropping our first single off of our next album. It's called Death Friends. Muy caliente. It'll be December 1st? the first single. So we're going to at uh, January 1st of 2024. Gotcha. So we'll be dropping that single soon. And then we're going to be um, shooting a music video. So that's like for that song. It'll be, our it'll be the one. single first, then the music video will come like a couple weeks after. Uh, we have talked a little oh. bit about the first album. Yes. I'm um, doing like, re, not, like maybe a reimagining. Oh. Almost, we are working or... with uh, Kenny from Youth and Revolt. Yep. We're going to be doing a remix. So I'm not sure if we scrapped that, but the we'll Salvation remix, yeah. I mean, it'd be nice too, but 
at the same time, there's a few other songs, like Not Alone, off from the first album, is pretty good. And it also touches bass with the same kind of... Yeah, well, yeah, we're going to be hitting our third year for our first album. So I'm doing uh, yeah. like a I'm reissue with extra songs. So that's to look forward to if people like the first album. Yep. When you say like, the like they're like reimagined different versions, do you mean like acoustic or just like completely different aspects uh, and all? Definitely going to be four songs of, I don't want to say the name of the songs, but there's going to be four acoustics <laughs> and then remixes. Just basically like... Uh, like revamped, revamped. Is a good um, one. So we got like a new microphone. We've upgraded our sound equipment, stuff like that. Um, our vocal styles are getting progressively more honed. So the songs that we fell in love with, because we pretty much basically wrote the entire album, like you and me. Yeah. You know. So that was that was the album was produced by yeah Becco, Becco and Zach Johnson. Yeah, Zach yeah. Johnson from uh, Icy Stars. Uh, mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Other than that, we just got uh we're in the works of the next album, our fifth album. Yeah. So, do you guys do you guys play shows as the duo or, or, or if so, does we it... have our show ever on the first also of July, January. Oh my god, January, January. Yeah. New Year's. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm pretty or yeah, New Year's. So we're pretty excited. That is awesome. Is so, it is it just yeah. the two of you or is there a, like the rest of the band, backing band, or just tracks? We tried the live band thing, but getting people that are reliable, we're just going to do the backtracks for now. Um, it's just a little like house basement show, so I'm pretty stoked. That's love, cool. Love uh, videos. Don't ever let Seriously. anybody tell you that that the show needs more members if you guys always feel it's just, <clears throat> it's just the two of you that this, because you can always still put on a badass show. It's just a two member thing. That's so. the energy. That's 20, the... 21 pilots will, I mean, look what, they, look what they've done with just two members. So, yeah, they're fantastic too. I love them guys. Yeah, Christian O'Neill's uh, he definitely got us through the you don't need the whole band, so I love him. He's a good guy. <laughs> yep. I, mean, I know you, you guys are good good friends, so he talks very highly of you. So I love Christian. Yeah, he, he really I, really I talk to him often. He's uh he's involved in a, a side project that I that I do called AM Fall that you guys would should probably get down on if you're ever interested. Uh, yeah. uh it'd be Boy, fun to get sweet. get you involved. Yep. Hell yeah. Well dudes, this is fun, man. I appreciate you guys coming to hang out for a little bit. Uh I love your stuff, and and just please keep us updated. Obviously, January first is a very very big day. Single, we got the show coming. That's awesome. Break a leg, and uh, just please come back in four or five months so we can update and and see what's going on in your world. Perfect. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll, we'll send you. Uh, hopefully, progress. We'll send you the song <laughs> so you can check it out before it drops. Okay. Cool. Hell yeah, I appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only. Ever since he. Hey man, hell yeah. Go. <laughs> So <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Hi, what's up, sir? Welcome to the local band Smokeout.